oh man, I had a really bad, a bad little social f- faux pas. I have, after the Calgary thing, I was walking over to the hotel and um, I was trying to get into the elevator because I was in the lobby. Sometimes you go through the lobby, you know, people want pictures and shit like that, which is cool, but daddy wants to drink. <laughs> So I was trying to get through there as fast as I could. And one of the guys, you know, was at the, you know, one of the, um, the guys who worked there sort of, you know, this elevator door opened and I fucking, he just sort of told me to come in. And I just stepped in front of these people and walked on me and Nate and the, and the promoter and the doors closed. And as we were going up, Nate goes, um, did we just step in front of a woman in a wheelchair waiting for an elevator? And then it dawned on me because I did see her, but I was in such a selfish moment of I don't want to take any you know pictures or anything. I just want to get back down because the bar was closing. That's right. And, you know, we had a great night. And there's nothing better after a show. You're all fucking amped up from the excitement of doing it. And it went well that you can't just go back to your hotel room and go to sleep. You want to sit down, shoot the shit or whatever. So we were, that's right. We were making a mad dash to get down to the bar before before it closed. No, that's a lie. They were actually keeping it open for us. There was really no reason for me to do it other than my own selfish things. I didn't feel like taking a picture. So I ran in there and um, that has been bugging me for the last 48 fucking hours. Nate heard her say something sad of like, said something, well, I guess we're not getting on this one, you know, classic polite Canadian. So I don't know, for whatever fucking reason, if you're the person pushing the person in the wheelchair, my apologies. Oh, Freckles was a selfish cunt there. <laughs> I'm literally getting embarrassed telling the story right now, but that, that legitimately happened, and it was me. I don't know if my rental car company has video or audio of it, you know. I'm getting out in front of the story is what I'm doing. 